composer, lyricist, singer, and showman. This St. Louis cultural icon's music has been featured in film, television, and radio. With internet downloads probably well into the hundreds, I went out in the community in search of his cult-like following to answer this question. Who is Al Hammerman? I honestly don't know who that is. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard of St. Louis's Al Hammerman. No. Oh, okay. Have you seen Al Hammerman in concert? I have not seen Al Hammerman in concert. I've never heard of Al Hammerman. Do you like it? No. Do you know any of his music, though? No. I'm here today on Del Mar's Walk of Fame in University City, childhood home to Al Hammerman. With such notable names as Phyllis Diller, Tina Turner, and Nellie, I'm left wondering, where's Al's star? Al Hammerman? Yeah, like Frank Sinatra type. No, no. Oh, gosh, shoot. You know Al Hammerman, right? Kind of not really. Uh, you really don't know Al Hammerman? No, ma'am. And how about Al Hammerman? Um, not really. I got a song, I got a song, you know that Yeah, one. yeah. You enjoy that one, and I bet you really like um, some of his others, like... Oh, what's the song about luck? Uh, how did you come? Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from St. Louis, but... But you don't know who Al Hammer is? No, I'm not sure. Is he a news anchor? I would think you'd know him. I don't think so. And I also wanted to see if you would sing a song by Al Hammerman with me. You've heard of Al? Yes. Okay, great. Um, the song, I'd Rather Be Lucky, Lucky With You, would you sing that? I don't know it, I'm sorry. Wait, I maybe not by name, but let me sing it, and maybe it'll, I'm sure it'll ring a bell. I'd rather be lucky, lucky with you. I'd rather be lucky, lucky with you. How do you not know Al Hammerman? That's the thing, the hammer. That's what we call him because when you hire the hammer, things get done. Producers love him. His ability to whip up a song in, in no time at all is uh, it's quite extraordinary. That's what it is. He's a master of every genre. Classical, jazz, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, opera, Tin Pan Alley. Well, I think Al's crowning achievement was when he was mentioned to be nominated to be on the long list of composers for the Golden Globe Awards. That, my friend, is a crown. Can you tell me a little bit about composer Al Hammerman and his piece in The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, All New Songs? How do you feel about that? Never heard it. I do, I'm, I'm a big fan of songs, I guess. The song, all new songs. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> well, if it's about a magician, uh, I would assume then that there's a magical component to it uh, about faith and um, uh, belief and where uh, stuff right, well, you ordinarily believe would, would occur. Correct. I've seen that movie and it's got a pretty good soundtrack to it. Um, I've never heard of any of his other work. All new songs, though. Do you feel that he should be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Musical Score? Can't honestly say unless I've heard it. Perhaps. I, I feel it would probably depend on what it would be up against, but it, it could be worthy of it. Are you at all concerned that he has not been nominated for an Academy Award? I don't know who Al Hammerman is. How many times do you think John Williams was nominated? No clue. I didn't know. He's written the musical score for nearly every Steven Spielberg film. Interesting. Have you heard of the cable television show Drop Dead Diva? Yes, I have. Okay, so you know the song from that show, I'd Rather Be Lucky? Sure, maybe. 
You... I have no idea. I'm so sorry. You know Al Hammerman, though, right? No. An Al Hammerman? Never heard of him again. He's quite a humanitarian and a, oh, uh, what's it, a philanthropist. I, was, I almost wanted to say philatomist, but that stamps, isn't it? If I had to describe Al Hammerman in one word, what would it be? Fastidious. Well, there you have it. We asked one question which led to the next question, which led to yet another question. And the best answer we could find was... Uh, who is Al Hammerman? That's what... Well, I... Thank you all. Thank you very much. And I want to thank Marjorie Dallas and Chris Benson of Lamplight uh, Productions for that, putting together that video, I think. And um, I also want to thank you all for being here tonight. On behalf of myself, and more importantly, Kids Rock Cancer, a wonderful charitable organization that promotes emotional well-being and some much-needed enjoyment to kids with life-threatening disease. And they do this through the art of songwriting, which is perhaps why I was asked, and I'm honored to be here tonight, because among other things, the answer to the question, who's Al Hammerman is, I'm a songwriter. Now, I can tell you that I had originally wanted this concert to be scheduled for the warmer weather of springtime, but the powers that be at Kids Rock Cancer said, oh no, Al, you write love songs. Let's make it a Valentine's concert and make it all about love. Yeah, well, like most of the guys out there right now, I had thought about running for the door but I promise to keep it light and we'll have a lot of fun as we musically explore some of the uh, many aspects of love and relationship. And besides, I guess I do write a lot of love songs and I can tell you it's not an easy thing. I mean, you basically put your private emotions out there on display for all the world to see, subject to interpretation and misinterpretation. Take, for example, the lyric, I used to kiss her on the lips, but it's all over now. <laughs> You, well, you see what I mean. Uh, and, and anyway, I mean, you say, well, okay, fine, then why do you write all those love songs? And there are really two basic reasons. The first, and this is a Valentine's concert, let's get it out of the way right now and embarrass her. As I say in all my concerts, much of my music's inspired by my lovely wife, Julia. And she's the one up in the front row. Thank you. She's the one in the front row whose face is about the same color as her hair right now. The second reason uh, is pretty much similar to the reason that many songs are written. Uh, and this was best, best put forth by the French philosopher Voltaire who said, yep, anything too stupid to be said can be sung. Uh, so with that in mind, I'd like to introduce the president of Miraville University, Dr. Mark Lombardi, who will not sing anything stupid, I don't think, but will say a few very important words. Mark. Thank you, Al, and thank you for your support of Kids Rock Cancer. It's always dangerous giving an Italian-American kid a microphone from the East Coast with a band. He starts to think about Sinatra and his dreams, and, but we'll, we'll leave that. You know, we're so very proud of what Kids Rock Cancer has done, and we're very proud of our music therapy program. Dr. Cynthia Briggs, who's here tonight, and Tracy Sanheinrich, who make this music with our, our children and do such a great job. So Cynthia and Tracy, please stand and be recognized. They do such a wonderful job. And I want to thank all of you for being here. Now, seven years ago, I came to St. Louis, first few weeks. Someone said to me, you know who you need to get? You need to hire Tom Eschen. And, and three hip replacements later, and uh, two bouts in rehab, Tom, is it two? Three bouts in rehab. What, what kind of rehab was that? <laughs> Tom's still with us, and Tom's going to come up 
and thank all of our wonderful sponsors. Tom? Thank you, Mark, for that warm introduction. You know, uh, usually I go first and I get to introduce the president. I, like, I think we're going to go back to that way after this. Good evening. It's great to be with you uh, tonight for another Kids Rock Cancer event. And, um, you know, we have kind of come to expect the unexpected with Kids Rock Cancer. And when you throw in Al Hammerman, you really have no idea what you're going to get. Only Al Hammerman would come up and say, you know, I love Kids Rock Cancer. I really want to help out. How about if we put on a Broadway show, I'll write the songs and produce it. I felt like I was in The Little Rascals or something, you know. Uh, but he did it. He did it. And, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's Al. If you look the word mensch up in the dictionary, especially a Yiddish dictionary, <laughs> you will see a picture of Al Hammerman. And it means a person of integrity, someone others look up to, a good guy, a righteous dude. That's right out of Merriam Dictionary. <laughs> and if there is a Mount Rushmore of Menches, Al Hammerman's face is going to be right up there for all to see. So, Al, thank you. <laughs> thank you for everything you have done and everything you're going to do. We appreciate that. Of course, it takes a village to put on a show, and we have a great village. We're so lucky to have such great celebrity co-chairs as Lauren and Lance Lynn. Lance, of course, starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. Rodney McLeod, starting safety for the St. Louis Rams. We had an extraordinary honorary committee. If you're, I know you're there. Please stand up so we can recognize you. An amazing, an amazing advisory council. Please stand up and be recognized. We have an amazing staff at Maryville, especially working with Kids Rock Cancer. Uh, the two Peggy's, uh, Peggy Musen, who drives Kids Rock Cancer. I don't know if Peggy is in there. I can't see. And then the other Peggy, Peggy Michelson, who drives everything else. Please thank them. And of course, we can't do this without our sponsors, our, our wonderful lead sponsor, Emerson. Absolutely. Presenting sponsor and exclusive caterer, uh, Lodging Hospitality Management. Our diamond sponsor, Simon's Jewelers. We'll talk a little bit more about Simon's in a minute. Platinum sponsors, Mineta Group Charitable Foundation, Cheryl and Lee Reed. Um, and Epworth Children's and Family Services. We could go on all day. Uh, our silver sponsors, Aminis, Ed and Tracy Berry, Marjorie Dulles, the Roving Reporter in the uh, great video, and uh, Fifth Third Bank, uh, the Gatesworth, Glazers, Greg and Missy Hill, Lamplight Studios, Robin and Rodney Sanders, and Stone Carly. Thank you very much. One final word before we get to the, to the show. And uh, we still have some tickets left, I understand, for the raffle. And you may have noticed uh, Kids Rock Cancer Advisory Council member Katie Trout, who was modeling the pearl necklace all evening. And uh, we still have some tickets. We're going to do that at the end of the show. So when the show's over, don't go anywhere because we're going to do uh, the, you're going to open the boxes and uh, somebody's going to walk away with a very, very beautiful pearl necklace. And I think that's it. Al, I think it's show's yours. Thanks, Spanky. Okay, great. I'd like to start the show now. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring out one of the greatest song and dance men anywhere around. Well, I'd, I'd like to do that, but what I got for you is Alan Ox. 
And, you know, Alan and I kid a lot. Uh, but all kidding aside, what I'd like to do now is bring out one of the greatest song and dance men anywhere around, a fantastic entertainer, my good buddy, who just recently spent a, a week uh, with the Boston Pops Orchestra, but he's here in town. You can be seen every Thursday at the Ritz. Uh, Sir Alan, would you like to come up on stage? <laughs> well, Alan's gonna start for us uh, with two songs. The first titled Nothing But Time, which has to do with the fact that no matter how busy we are, we always seem to be able to find the time to be with the person we want to be with, the person we love. And the second song just happens to be a favorite of my very first Valentine, my mom, and it's titled, When You're Dancing. I wondered what these songs were about. I'm so busy, so much to do. Rush and hurry, where does the day go to? But I've got nothing but time when I'm around you. Obligations got more than a few. Plans and projects. I got a whole damn slew But I got nothing but time When I'm around you oh, I've got no time to hesitate No time to sit and wait Am I coming in clear? I got no time for dreaming Or scheming Except for the times you're near So what you hurry Take in the view In case you missed it, please allow me to review. I got nothing but time when I'm around you. Sit and wait, am I coming in clear? I got no time for dreaming or scheming, except for the times you're near. So, what you hurry, take in that view. In case you missed it, please allow me to review. I got nothing but time, only nothing but time. I'm really bad with the time Whenever I'm around you I got nothing but time Really nothing with time I'm lousy with time Whenever I'm around you Thank you very much. All right, what a wonderful occasion to play. Thank you for inviting me, Al. So great to be here. And the weather broke for us today. The weather broke for us. You know, we're all, we, we all want to move on to that next season. Some of us are a little bit too anxious for that. You know you might be a little bit too anxious for that season change. If it just gets over 30 degrees and your stomach starts growling to you, I'm thinking barbecue. I'm thinking barbecue here. 30 degrees, is, it's almost too cold for a fire at that point. You know, and most people don't even realize, folks, we are in the midst of a leap winter. Leap winter, not leap year. Leap winter. That's when January has 29 weeks. <laughs> and we're glad to get past that. Well. I'm so glad to be up here with these uh, great musicians with more on the way tonight. And of course, Al Hammerman and his songwriting, who Al Hammerman single-handedly has redefined radiology. 
that's a doctor who wants to get his music played on the damn radio. <laughs> and he's done a damn good job of it, too. And he's been doing it, wanting to do it ever since he was a kid. He had the loving support and guidance of his beautiful parents. And his mother is here tonight. And I would never say anything bad about him with her here. Celine, hello, good evening. Nice to see you. You got, you got a great seat there. You really do. Do you remember when I was at Al's seventh birthday party by chance? You do? Yeah, great. Because I don't remember it. I just remember the, the cake was an inch thick with icing on top. I had three pieces and I was like out cold. I just remember waking up at the pinata waving over my head. That's all I remember. Well, that leads into this next song, uh, which um, has to do with um, the idea of being beckoned to dance. What is it like? What can happen when you're dancing? I've been accused of style, a bit old-fashioned Like worn-out rhymes and other crimes of passion But when one's fancy figures on romancing No better reason for the rhyme than when you're dancing the mood is always right for romancing When you're dancing And you're out on the floor The mood is set to music enhancing When you're dancing Making memories by four for when it's right, you sing along, and from that night, they're playing your song. So if your life should need some advancing, it can happen when you dance. along just him and her then she smiles your friend and ginger so if your love should need some advancing it can happen when you dance and when the band starts to She's calling your number Why try to resist When it's time for the twist And after the cha-cha There's something goes gotcha That just the insane know When they start to tank Time is always right for romancing When you're dancing And your eyes chance to meet Then to a beat Two hearts are enhancing When you're dancing 
You'll get swept off your feet You won't a while Just him and her And then she smiles You're Fred and Ginger So if your love keeps up advancing Why not give yourself Fantastic, Ellen. Thank you so much. And I'd like to bring out now. Uh, I'd like to bring out now our next entertainer, Kristen Ashley. Now, Kristen is new to my shows, but she's certainly not new to the world of entertainment, as she can be heard on TV and top 40 radio stations all over the country. She's also recently released a new CD, a Christmas CD titled Silent Night, which I can tell you is wonderful. In spite of all that, She's a rather shy girl, uh, you wouldn't think. Uh, and she's going to come out, and we'd like to coax her, hopefully, to come out and sing two songs. The second song, a more traditional love song called Only Love Is Real. And the first song is a sweet little song about a special kind of kiss. Kristen, can you come out and sing for the nice people? Ah, uh, there she is.
all so much um, for being here tonight for such an amazing cause. Um, I am honored to be a part of this event and in support of this great, 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 great organization. Um, and in the fact that it's Valentine's Day, everyone is sparkling just so wonderfully with all those little glittery things. It's really surreal up here. Um, let's just take some time to hold the one that you love and hold them close um, because only love is real. Get cozy, it's Valentine's Day. I'm up here all alone. of my soul for something of certainty of all the treasures silver and gold of wonders old and new of each emotion my heart can hold the answer is always you eternity
thank you very much, Christian. That was absolutely wonderful, and she seems to have come out of her shell a little bit, too. Don't you think? <laughs> thank you. Um, it always gives me great, great pleasure to introduce our next entertainer, Arvel Keithley, a tremendously popular entertainer around town, and I always say the same thing. Arvel can make anybody's song sound good, so homies, I'm always happy when he sings one of mine. Arvel is going to sing uh, a couple songs. The first inspired by uh, not necessarily uh, one of the positive aspects of love, but jealousy. And uh, not about Julia, but really my son Brett. Uh, you know, Brett lives in Los Angeles, and I always call him up and say, hey Brett, how's, how's it going? What's the weather like out there? And he says, great dad, 72 and sunny. <laughs> and you know, with the weather, if the weather the, a winter like we've had uh, this past winter in St. Louis, that gets old really fast. <laughs> but you take inspiration where you can find it. And so we just decided to turn that into a song. Uh, Arvel's second song is um, titled Only Julia. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure where that one came from. Uh, Arvel, there he is. Is a red deer, violets are blue. One and one and always two. Birds sing, bells ring. I don't have much money. Roses are red deer, violets are not. I'm just happy for what I got. Hard times, bad rhymes, I'm still doing okay. When it's cold out, I'm not minding it. When the gray clouds head my way, tell the forecast I rewind it. You're here, skies clear. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Wherever I go, whatever I do, 72 and sunny. Wherever I go, because I'm with you, 72. And sunny Washed out in romance Didn't make a dent My cloud nine was Quite inclement You came, you came Something happened, honey Seems about the nature Send me a sign Jump right in the Weather's fine now, love's in the air, my favorite cliche. When it's cold out, I'm not minding it. When the gray clouds in my way, tell the forecast I rewind it. And you're here, skies clearly, it's a beautiful day. and sunny I just tossed my umbrella away Cause now it's time to better to stay Sunday, wherever I go, because I'm with you, it's 72 and sunny. Wherever I go, whatever I do, 72 and sunny. Wherever I go, because I'm with you, it's 72. And it's a sunny day. so much.
Thank you so much. Well, we were in the back and we were talking to uh, Al, and we came up, Al came up with this song like 14 years ago that we, we've been doing this, and I'm so glad that I got to sing uh, Julia's song because I'm always on the show. <laughs> right? There you go. You can't miss that sh song. Simple loveliness, a symphony of style and form, grace with a childish charm. And can you pinch your style with a silly smile? The lure of an enchanted breeze When I picture things like these Only Julia Like a breath of spring It's Julia Endless summer fling It's Julia Only Julia Only Julia Love sweet silhouette is Julia From the day we met is Julia Only Julia, only Julia Breathlessness Chills with every kiss Suddenly alive and real that's how she makes you feel And should you need a friend At a long day's end Someone who will always care Who's got a heart with room to spare Only Julia like a breath of spring, it's Julia. In the summer fling, it's Julia. Only Julia, only Julia. Only Julia. Love sweet silhouette, it's Julia. From the day we met, it's Julia. Only Julia. Only Julia I know there are other girls But just like a string of pearls All lovely yet everyone So very much the same And Romeo's Juliet Just someone to forget a vision of love by any other name is Julia. Just like a string of pearls 
all lovely and everyone so very much the same and Romeo's Juliet just someone to forget a vision of love by any other name it's Julia oh it's Julia like a breath of spring it's Julia a endless summer fling it's Julia only Julia only Julia only Julia Love sweet silhouette is Julia And from the day we met is Julia Only Julia Only Julia Can you picture them? Thank you all so much Is he amazing? I mean, yes. Unbelievable. Thank you. you. Just give me a minute to redecorate him. Hope the union doesn't have a problem with this. Uh, well, speaking of Julia. You know, this being a Valentine's concert, and how I've already mentioned that many of my songs are inspired by my lovely wife, I thought it would be great if just this one time she did something she's never done before, and come up on stage and help me out with the next new song. What do you say, honey? A little coaxing from the crowd. Right here. Okay, um, I had actually mentioned this idea to Julia once before, and she didn't think it was such a good idea back then. But what about now? No. Right. Um, it'll be fun. I mean, it'll be easy. All you have to do is help me out with seven easy words. Seven easy words. And uh, you up for this? No. I mean, they're going to be obvious to you. Okay. Uh, now, my guess is that with uh, all the love songs I write, most people must think that Julia and I live together in perfect harmony every day. But the truth is, we have our share of disagreements, just, just like tonight, uh, and we've had our share of disagreements from very early on in our relationship. But I can also tell you that I know, I know, from very on in our relationship, I knew that we were meant for each other. And how would you know that? You're no fortune teller. No, I'm no fortune teller At guessing far from stellar What's hidden in a heart I have no clue And though our views may vary And one of us is quite contrary I am not <laughs> I know from the very start I knew said love green eyes and you said blue but baby I knew said hair shorter nice and you said grew but baby I knew sometimes it's just hard to see some things just are meant to be you say chance or happenstance here's my answer Baby, I knew I said just a sneeze And you said 
flew. But baby, I knew. I said sushi, please, and you said ew. But baby, I knew. Sometimes it's just hard to see. Some things just are meant to be. You say chance or happenstance. Here's my answer. Baby, I knew. No love's never easy, but what good is easy? Easy come, easy go. So your way or my way just means there's a way. And everyone knows love finds it. So this is kind of the instrumental part of the song we need to make our way through. We could talk a little bit. No. Know any good jokes? No. Seen any good movies lately? No. Care to dance? No. But you're having fun, right? No, love's never easy. But what good is easy? Easy come, easy go. So your way or my way just means there's a way. And everyone knows love finds it. And I said, yes, it's late, I know. And you said, true. But baby, I knew. Now she agrees. Said, don't have to go, and you said, do. But baby, I knew. Sometimes it's just hard to see. Some things just are meant to be. But I said, just a kiss, and you said, two. And baby, I knew. Baby, I knew. <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, I've gotten a lot of requests tonight already but I'm gonna do another song anyway. And uh, I, always, I always do so as the composer. Uh, and I do it as a great favor to the other vocalist to make them look that much better. Uh, this next song is about a special kind of relationship, best friends, and a special kind of best friend, a kind of best friend that many of us have. I wrote this one about mine. He's kind of crazy, he's kind of lazy, my best friend. He's kind of different, some say a bit bent, I say I like his style. Not much for talking when we go walking, my best friend. He mostly listens, but when I'm with him, he always makes me smile. When I've had my share of troubles When dark clouds crowd my day I hit the door and on the double He starts chasing them all the way He's far from perfect Nobody's perfect My best friend What fun is perfect Cause when I see him He always makes me smile When he starts clowning, nobody's frowning. 
Always a swell sight, don't always smell right. Got some bad habits, go ask the rabbits. But when I'm dragging, he's right there wagging. And when I've had my share of troubles, when dark clouds crowd my day, I hit the door and on the double, he starts chasing them all the way. He's far from perfect. Nobody's perfect, my best friend. For me, he's perfect. And if you see him, he's gonna make you smile for a while. Though other friends have their allure, he's my BFF for sure. I got some good friends, but none like my best friend. But not like my best friend. Thank you. Thank you guys. Now, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the guys who make us all sound good tonight. This phenomenal band, you will not find a better band in St. Louis. Thank you all so much. Unbelievable. And Len by my good friend tonight's music director, uh, great musician, the arranger of all these songs tonight, all these great arrangements, Mark Meyer. Thank you, Mark. Okay, well, it now gives me pleasure to bring out our next uh, entertainer, uh, Kim Fuller. Now, Kim is, this is her second appearance on my shows, but I sure hope she becomes a regular because Kim is really one of those rare entertainers who once she takes the stage, you will be instantly hooked and it's just that way. Now about Kim's song, uh, many of you know that I'm also a physician and as a physician, I believe in the more traditional ways of healing. But there's some ailments, particularly certain maladies of the heart that call for the more non-traditional methods and that's what Kim's here to tell you about with her next song, Good For What You Got. Kim? Put your hands together, come on. But might I conclude you're about to come and glued? Well, I say, wait a minute, honey. I'm here to help you a lot. Cause if you're feeling bad, I know what's good for what you got. You're all in a sweat from someone you met. Well, baby, I bet you ain't seen nothing yet. So if you're sick, Go see the doctor and he can give you a shot But if you're feeling bad, I know what's good for what you got I know what's good for what you got, babe When what you got has got you good And if your fever plays in high Collaboration, a case of have or have not. Well, if you're feeling bad, I know what's good for what you got. Put your hands together for Mr. Larry Smith on set.
good for what you got, babe. When what you got has got you good. And when your fever's blazing hot, maybe you can find your way around my neighborhood. It can't be denied that deep down inside, I need you to slide, need to be satisfied. I guess the situation. If you're feeling bad, I know what's good for what you got. And if you're feeling bad, I know what's good for what you got. I have, I know what's good for what you got. That's so good, I know what's good for what you got. Yeah. those shoes. <laughs> Time to redecorate again. Comfortable, I guess. Slipping though. Well, oh, maybe she's just running a little late. I love, I've always wanted to do that. You know, when I was a kid, there was a show called Loretta Young Theater or something. She used to come through a door like that, wearing like spaghetti strap and chiffon. And thank you, Mark. I love it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> what? Wow. Alan, when you come out on stage, you really come out. <laughs> Any way to get back in? Not really. Uh... Anything else in your backstage bucket list you want to share with us tonight? Um, I've always wanted to do a stage dive into the Sheldon audience, do a little crowd surfing. Right, and I'm thinking the preferred seating for this concert just became the balcony. Uh, really, I'll, what's up? I'm out here waiting for Julia. Julia, no, I'm not Julia, I'm not Julia. I could be Jew, Jewishia. Yeah, very funny, no, really, I thought maybe she'd come out and help me out with another song. Uh, I think you might be pushing it, Al. Uh, I think, you think. Judging from the last number. Actually, you know, I was talking to Julia. Yeah. She thinks you and I should do a number together. What do you think, folks? You want to see Al and me do it? And do a duet? So you and I do a number together? Yeah. Like we did in the last show. Last show? Fine, yeah. but uh, no cracks about my dancing, all right? No dancing about my cracks? You got a deal. <laughs> You know, as I said earlier tonight, Al and I kid a lot, but we really do love doing these shows together, especially when it's for a great cause like KRC. And that's KRC, Alan, not KFC. I know, man. I, I was confused when you called. I, I never heard of the organization. I just got, you know, I thought we we're doing a concert for the Colonel or something. I was going to get free chicken for life. <laughs> you could have humored me and throwing a uh, bucket of that stuff into the deal. Yeah, right. Speaking of which, Speaking of which, what is the deal tonight, man? You know, I got, I got rehearsal time into this. I had to look at videos. I went out and I bought a 60-inch TV. I painted my house. Al, you know, I, you're I, talking I, about the money? Yeah, the money. You know, I mean... Al, baby, booby, buddy. Between guys like us and for such a great cause, like Kids Rock Cancer, yeah. the money is inconsequential. That's what I feared, my friend. Can't you ever be a little bit um, generous to your old pal? What? Yes. Well, uh, generous? Hey, I've given you the best lines in our next song together. Oh, well, that's more like it. That's no more problem. Like it. No problem. Yeah, I'm digging that. <laughs> 
I got the feeling you're pandering to me, Doc. Maybe just a little bit. I'm digging it, though. You may not be one for the money, but we are two, two for, for the show. show. Thank you. Two guys and two buddies. Two friends and two pals. We're two for the show. Two chums and two cronies. Two troopers, two owls. We're two for the show. And when I need a song and dance man, when I need a new tune to croon, we're ready to go. Two for the show. I'm saying, Al, your songs don't sound dated. Fresh as a fad. We're two for the show. Thanks, Al. And you know, your voice hasn't faded. The mics are just bad. Two We're two for the show. show. And say your jokes are great. The first time. It's dancing hard with two left shoes. Still we're ready to go. Two for the show. We love to get in fun, but when it's sad and done, we're only having fun. Take it from number one. So if you're booking a duo and you're in a pinch, we're two for the show. Just give us our cue. From there it's a cinch. We're two for the show. And though we tease, there's no disguising. We're both best when we're harmonizing. And so we want you to know we're ready to go. Come rain, sleet, and snow. Just me and my bro. He's tight with the dough. I think I gotta go. We got a big finish. Big finish? Yes. Well, you can count me in. One, two, three. We'll always be true for it. Stuck just like glue for it. Always be true for the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Um, you know, I really do got to go. Any chance you can do the next couple songs? I think your... so. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. Well, Alan's going to do two new songs for us tonight. Uh, the first, uh, about a musical genre I think we can all uh, appreciate called My Kind of Music. And the second, about that special one someone in our lives called Just One. Sir Alan. I just tossed away my radio What they're playing, I don't care to know Concert tickets, I don't care if I go My kind of music, not in that show I get lazy, she's my soothing soul I get crazy, she's my rock and roll She's got the melody I keep humming She's got a rhythm that just takes soul My kind of music, she's solid gold Cause she's got my kind of music She's hot, topping my every chart She's got my kind of music She's got the number one song
just takes so She's got the hits and they just keep coming Don't stop, she's got my kind of music She's hot, top in my every chart She's got my kind of music Great band, this is a wonderful feeling up here. Thank you very much. This is an interesting song for me to do. I, I love doing this kind of, uh, I don't know, just romantic, slow, not a swinging thing. And I will let you count it off, Mr. Maher. Here's to diamonds by the dozen. A hundred races won, a thousand cheers, and endless days of sun. Yet still I know true happiness born none needs no more than the true love of just one. Give me just one smile. When I say hello, give me just one sigh when it's time to go. Give me just one kiss to be wanting so, just one. Give me just one hand to be holding tight, just one dream to get me through the night. For there's just one girl who can make it right Just one And for all the things I do And for all the things I've done You can search for all the reasons But you'll only find just one Give me just one dream to be shared by two. Just one love to last my whole life through. For there's just one girl who can make it true. Just one, just one, just one. There's just one girl, and for me that's you. Just one, just one, just you for none. Just one, just one, just one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Allen. Absolutely. Okay, uh, time to bring the girls back out now. First, shy little Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, doing a song called Here's to Happy and Don't Let the Title Fool You. And the second song, well, the title of this song is Far From Spring, and if uh, composers get their favorite, this is one of mine. Uh, that will be sung by Kim Fuller. But first, Kristen with uh, Here's to Happy. It's cold out and the rain is falling still you hold out but he's just not calling here's too happy here's too happy so he's gone now and they say forget him just move on now like you've never met him, here's too happy. Here's too happy. Here's too happy when the good times can't come too soon. Here's too your heart stop aching get in line now for some first class faking here's to happy here's to happy Have you had a good time this evening? Great. This morning I had to go to urgent care and I have a sinus infection and I was like, okay, what are you gonna do? And I said, I'm gonna get the heck out this bed and I'm going to come and do this gig and give back to such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cause. They say, if love remembers, then age doesn't mean a thing. It's 
Still I think of yesteryears And soon December nears But it's so very far from spring And I hear music And I hear laughter As I recall Yes, I recall The days and promise Of ever after Yes, I recall Yes, I recall But it's far from spring It's far from spring You turn around And it's far from spring The days were endless The nights forever As I recall Yes, I recall We were so daring and all so clever as I recall Yes, I recall But it's far from spring It's far from spring You turn around and it's far from spring As the time of your life starts to slip away are the times of your life only yesterday that's when he turns around and it's suddenly missed of me Well, it's my professional opinion that she's recovered rather well. Thank you so much, Kim. Well, as a songwriter, I guess I've written 60 or so songs uh, that I care to admit to. But uh, our next artist has helped write over 300 songs. And she might be just a bit younger than I am as well. And that's Tracy Sandheinrich. And Tracy is, um, oh, sorry. Tracy is really the cornerstone of Kids Rock Cancer. She's not only a songwriter, but a licensed music therapist. And Tracy's the one who goes to the hospital and talks to the kids about their hopes, their dreams, their fears. And together, they come up with their own special song for each child. And maybe if only for a little while, these kids feel like rock stars. And uh, I want to 
welcome Tracy on stage and a few of her rock stars who were able to join us tonight. In addition to the phenomenal Parkway Central Pizzazz Choir, who's also kindly agreed to help us out to sing the next song called I Got a Song. Now, I Got a Song is... Uh... Thanks, guys. I Got a Song is a uh, song I had uh, originally wrote for, uh, with Kids Rock Cancer in mind several years ago. And it's a song that speaks to the power of music in our lives, not only as a form of entertainment, but how it helps us all to heal, helps us to move forward, each in our own special way, each with our own special song. And as the song says, there are no wrong words when you're singing your own song.
on behalf of all the entertainers, myself, and most importantly, Kids Rock Cancer, we want to thank you all for coming tonight and supporting this wonderful cause. And now, if you could all be patient for just another moment, I want to turn the stage over to the chairman of the Kids Rock Cancer Committee, Bob Mills. Bob? Thank you much, Al. And uh, thank, thank you everybody for coming this evening. I think uh, just a little bit about uh, Kids Rock Cancer. If it wasn't for the vision of Mark Lombardi and Tom Eschen, we'd never be here tonight. And uh, it was because of their inspiration and their desire to start this program that we are here tonight. And, and we've done so much good for the kids. Eric, can you come back up here? Eric, Eric. I want a little help because uh, this is what it's all about. And this is for Al, for all the work and effort he did for us. So please give this to Al.